rational numbers rational numbers on the number line comparing rational numbers rational numbers between rational numbers rational numbers on the number line rational numbers are numbers that can be represented on the number line let us represent minus 2 upon 3 on the number line minus 2 upon 3 is less than 0 so it lies to the left of 0 between which two integers does it lie it lies between 0 and minus 1 represent minus 2 upon 3 on the number line it lies between 0 and minus 1 we draw the number line and mark 0 and minus 1 on it then we divide the portion between 0 and minus 1 into 3 equal parts. That is minus 1 upon 3 and minus 2 upon 3. Represent 8 upon 3 on the number line. First we convert it into mixed fraction. Therefore 8 upon 3 is equal to 2, 2 upon 3. Since we have the integer 2, the rational number 8 upon 3 lies in between 2 and 3. Represent 8 upon 3 on the number line. It lies between 2 and 3. We draw the number line and mark 2 and 3 on it. Then we divide the portion between 2 and 3 into 3 equal parts. 7 upon 3, 8 upon 3. That is 2, 2 upon 3. That is equal to 8 upon 3. Represent 5 upon 7 on the number line. It lies between 0 and 1. We draw the number line and mark 0 and 1 on it. Then we divide the portion between 0 and 1 into 7 equal parts. So that is 1 upon 7, 2 upon 7, 3 upon 7, 4 upon 7, 5 upon 7, 6 upon 7. 7 upon 7. This is 5 upon 7. Comparing rational numbers. Rational numbers can be compared to each other. If two rational numbers have the same denominator, then the number with the higher numerator is the bigger number. 3 upon 8 and 5 upon 8. The denominator is the same. So compare the numerators. So 3 upon 8 is smaller than 5 upon 8. Remember, most of the thinking and working is just like what you do for fractions. If two rational numbers have the same denominator, then the number with the higher numerator is the bigger number. Minus 2 upon 3, 4 upon 3. The denominator is the same. So compare the numerators. So minus 2 upon 3 is smaller than 4 upon 3. Remember, most of the thinking and working is just like what you do for fractions. Compare the following rational numbers. Minus 4 upon 7, minus 8 upon 7. Minus 4 upon 7 is greater than minus 8 upon 7. Minus 4 upon 3, 8 upon 3. Minus 4 upon 3 is smaller than 8 upon 3. Minus 3 upon 2, minus 5 upon 2. Minus 3 upon 2 is greater than minus 5 upon 2. 9 upon 1, minus 8 upon 1. 9 upon 1 is greater than minus 8 upon 1. If two rational numbers have different denominators, then make the denominators equal. Then the number with the greater numerator is the bigger number. 5 upon 8 and 7 upon 12. Denominators are not the same. Make them equal. 5 upon 8 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 upon 8 multiplied by 3. That is equal to 15 upon 24. 7 upon 12 is equal to 7 into 2 upon 12 into 2. That is equal to 14 upon 24. Now here we get the same denominator. 5 upon 8 is greater than than 7 upon 12. Minus 4 upon 7 and 5 upon minus 9. Denominators are not the same. Make them same. 
minus 4 upon 7 is equal to minus 4 into 9 upon 7 into 9 is equal to minus 36 upon 63. 5 upon minus 9 is equal to 5 into 7 upon minus 9 into minus 7 is equal to minus 35 upon 63. That makes the denominator same. So, minus 4 upon 7 is less than 5 upon minus 9. Minus 8 upon 11, 4 upon minus 5. Denominators are not the same, make them same. Minus 8 upon 11 is equal to minus 8 into 5 upon 11 into 5 is equal to minus 40 upon 55. 4 upon minus 5 is equal to 4 into minus 11 upon minus 5 into minus 11 is equal to minus 44 upon 55. Now the denominators are same. So minus 8 upon 11 is greater than 4 upon minus 5. Minus 3 upon 5, 6 upon minus 8. Denominators are not the same. Make them same. Minus 3 upon 5 is equal to minus 3 into 8 upon 5 into 8 is equal to minus 24 upon 40. 6 upon minus 8 is equal to 6 into minus 5. Minus 8 into minus 5 is equal to minus 30 upon 40. Here denominators are the same. So, minus 3 upon 5 is greater than 6 upon minus 8. Arrange these numbers in ascending order. 6 upon 10 21 upon 30, 20 upon 24. LCM of the denominators is 240. 6 upon 10 is equal to 6 into 24 upon 10 into 24. That is equal to 144 upon 240. 21 upon 30 is equal to 21 into 8 upon 30 into 8 is equal to 168 upon 240. 20 upon 24 is equal to 20 into 10 upon 24 into 10 is equal to 200 upon 240. 144 upon 240 is less than 168 upon 240 is less than 200 upon 240. 6 upon 10 is less than 21 upon 30 is less than 20 upon 24. Arrange these numbers in ascending order. 5 upon 7, minus 4 upon 9, 2 upon 3. LCM of denominators is 63. 5 upon 7 is equal to 5 into 9 upon 7 into 9 is equal to 45 upon 63. Minus 4 upon 9 is equal to minus 4 into 7 upon 9 into 7 is equal to minus 28 upon 63. 2 upon 3 is equal to 2 into 21 upon 3 into 21 is equal to 42 upon 63. Minus 28 upon 63 is less than 42 upon 63 is less than 45 upon 63. So, minus 4 upon 9 is less than 2 upon 3 is less than 5 upon 7. Arrange these numbers in descending order. Minus 3 upon 4, 5 upon minus 12, minus 7 upon 16. LCM of denominators is 48. Minus 3 upon 4 is equal to minus 3 into 12 upon 4 into 12 is equal to minus 36 upon 48. 5 upon minus 12 is equal to 5 into minus 4 upon minus 12 into minus 4 is equal to minus 20 upon 48. Minus 7 upon 16 is equal to minus 7 into 3 upon 16 into 3 is equal to minus 21 upon 48. Minus 20 upon 48 is greater than minus 21 upon 48 is greater than minus 36 upon 48. So 5 upon minus 12 is greater than minus 7 upon 16 is greater than minus 3 upon 4. Arrange these numbers in descending order. Minus 7 upon 8, 1 upon 4, minus 4 upon 5. LCM of denominators is 40. Minus 7 upon 8 is equal to minus 7 into 5 upon 8 into 5 is equal to minus 35 upon 40. 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 into 10 upon 4 into 10 is equal to 10 upon 40. Minus 4 upon 5 is equal to minus 4 into 8 
upon 5 into 8 is equal to minus 32 upon 40. 10 upon 40 is greater than minus 32 upon 40 is greater than minus 35 upon 40. 1 upon 4 is greater than minus 4 upon 5 is greater than minus 7 upon 8. Finding rational numbers between two other rational numbers. Find two numbers between 1 and 2. If you look at the number line, you may think that there are no numbers between 1 and 2. Well, it's okay for the old you to think that way. Since the old you only knew about the natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. What the new you would say is, you want two numbers? I can give you 200 numbers between 1 and 2. Why would the new you say that? Because the new you knows more mathematics. The new you knows about rational numbers. Let's look at what lies between 1 and 2. What's in the middle? There's 1 upon 2. Half. Can you divide it further? Yes. 1 fourth, 3 fourth. Let's clear all these and start over. What if you need to find 10 numbers between 1 and 2? Well, think of a denominator that is greater than 10. We can think of 15. How can you write 1 with denominator 15? As 15 upon 15. How can you write 2 with denominator 15? As 30 upon 15. Now you can easily find any 10 rational numbers between 15 upon 15 and 30 upon 15. What are they? 16 upon 15, 17 upon 15, 18 upon 15, 19 upon 15, 20 upon 50, 21 upon 15, 22 upon 15, 23 upon 15, 24 upon 15, 25 upon 15, 26 upon 15, 27 upon 15, 28 upon 15, 29 upon 15. Now you know what to do if you need to find 200 numbers between 1 and 2. Yay! Cheers to the new rational you! Did you understand how to compare the rational numbers? Yes!